Hey guys, what's up? This is Liberates, and today I'm going to put up a quick tutorial um, with my w render settings because I haven't put up a tutorial in a while, so um, this hopefully is going to be a quicker one, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so first, obviously, you want to grab your clip. Um, I'm just going to grab a random one. Alright, yeah. No, I don't like that one. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Um, we'll pull in that one. Why not? What is this one? Oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Since I've already used this one, but okay. So, what you want to do, first of all, is you want to come up to your property settings, or your project video properties, so click up here on that button. And your template, you're going to want to pick, um, you're going to want to do custom, and which is like, I don't know, just don't even click anything. And then width, you want to change 1280 by 720 height obviously because that's YouTube standards um field order you want to make sure that's on upper originally it should be on none but put that to upper pixel aspect ratio 1 so square output rotation 0 frame rate double NTSC 59.94 pixel format 8 bit full resolution rendering quality best motion blur type gaussian deinterlace method blend fields and then adjust source media to better match project or render settings and then you can come down here and check start all new project with these settings so it just always does it and then just hit OK and then what you want to do is you want to right click on your clip go to properties and come down to disable resample and hit OK and then obviously what you want to do is um, kind of scale go into the crop so pan and crop and then you want to kind of scale it in so that because usually there's these little black edges like on Hapog HDPVR clips or any HDPVR for that matter and those get really annoying so you just want to scale it in to where you can't see those and then just hit go down to main tech, maintain aspect ratio right here click on yes and change it to no and then just exit out of that and you're all clear now you can just add in some simple color correction some I call it the base color correction because I usually do base in Sony Vegas and then I add in the actual more noticeable color correction in um, After Effects. Um, I will have a tutorial for a different kind of color correction up soon, hopefully. So, anyways, so um, I'm just gonna add in my normal. Um, I might do a video for the base color correction if you guys want it, but it's really an opinion, so I don't. I might just leave it in the comments if you want one, but I really want this video to be like two minutes long, and I'm already past that. So, I'm just gonna add in all my quick color correction. <laughs> all right so now I have my clip and now we're gonna go hit render as and you're gonna the save as type first you wanna name it I'll name it um yeah <coughs> and then you're gonna go to save as type main concept ABC slash AAC mp4 um template put it on custom and then click on custom right here and click make sure include videos checked custom frame size 1280 by 720 um, profile, you want to do main, uh, frame rate 59.94, field order none or progressive, um, pixel aspect ratio 1.0, number of reference frames 2, and then check use the blocking filter, and then variable bitrate, check it, and put maximum 14, 14 million BPS, which I assume is bits per second, and then average 14 million bits per second. Then go over to audio, hit include audio, sample rate, you're going to change it to 48,000 hertz, and then bit rate, you want to put it on 128,000 hertz, and, or bits per second, and I'm pretty sure these are default, so you might not even have to change them. Then you're going to go over to project, and video rendering quality will usually be on use project settings, but you want to change it to best, and then hit O, or before hitting OK, you could just hit save, save it as a new template, so you always have it, and then just render it. And there you go. So I'll see you guys later. And sorry for the lack of tutorials. Um, my finals just got over, and I'm not gonna promise more videos because this is um, this is my Christmas break, and I will most likely be spending most of it with my family. But if I get spare time, I will try and make some videos. Um, also, after Christmas, I would like to try and make. I don't know if it's not a sure thing because I mean, it's kind of. I don't really know. It's just it's not a sure thing because I get really bored and. Yeah, I can't just sit down and edit for an hour or two, but um, I would like to make a community montage, maybe. So get some names out there of people who are not too recognized. Um, so if you want to start sending in your clips for that, um, you can upload them to ZShare or Filefront. Um, I will not be accepting 
uh, I will not be accepting Dazzle quality or lower than a PBR clip unless they're really good, so you can be the judge of that um, before sending them in. So, yeah, um, send in your clips. Make sure to use these render settings, though, otherwise... I can still, I, I probably still use them, but it just will be kind of harder to edit and it won't look as good. So, I'll see you guys later and I hope you learned lots of goodies. Peace.